Hello everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. In today's video we're going to be looking at printables.com and why it is what Thingiverse should have always been. Let's have a look. If you've been involved in 3D printing for more than a couple of days, you're probably aware of Thingiverse.com. It's an online repository where people can upload 3D designs they've made, allowing others to download and 3D print them. It's a great idea and Thingiverse has definitely become the biggest of its kind on the web, but it's definitely not without its issues. Despite its size and the amount of time it's been around, it has very, very little maintenance and upkeep. As a result, it's riddled with issues such as most recently, things are starting to go offline. I've had files that have been on Thingiverse.com for months or even years, and suddenly it's as if they were completely deleted. Yet, maybe two or three weeks later, it just pops back as if nothing's happened. And this has become a recurrent issue throughout the whole of it. It can take ages to search for things. It can take ages to load. It's, it's just got a lot of clunky problems. Now, Prusa has developed something which was originally called Prusa Prints, I think, but it's now called printables.com, and it is their attempt at taking on Thingiverse. My opinion is that printables.com is what Thingiverse should have always been. From the get-go, they have made a really nice user interface, making it easy for people that want to print things, understanding what will fit in their print bed, understanding what they can and can't print, and what is most important is they are encouraging the community within the 3D printing world to design and make things on a regular basis. A good way to compare them might be looking at the same model page on each site. So here is my zip toggle replacement on thingiverse.com. You've got the photos and the user interface and a nice big advert for bamboo clothing at the top there. Oh, it's swapped to something else now. Um, and then you know, we've got more advertising down here and you know it is nice that you were able to at least put images in your description so you could create tutorials like this um, but it's all relatively simplistic and then you had your thing files and then people could post comments on and a lot of time these things would be uh, they would disappear and stuff like that uh, and then you've got people's makes here uh, in comparison, here is my same thing on printables.com. It's a much friendlier, nicer user interface to begin with, uh, and there's some really nice features in here. So first of all, we can obviously, uh, there was a real issue with Thingiverse where pictures were being distorted or cropped weirdly, whereas on here they seem to work fine. And the uh, 3D model viewer works really smoothly on here whereas Thingiverse had real issues and you can then select between the different models here and look at each model individually in 3D. Uh, so then next to that we've got um, features like the total time, uh, the number of print files that there are to do and like various uh, specs on the files that have been uploaded which is really nice. Uh, it allows you to filter when you're searching for stuff. You can filter things that are smaller than a certain size or will print quicker than a certain amount of time. Um, here you can like things, you can add them to collections. Obviously both of these are things you could do in Thingiverse as well. Here you can um, upload a, a make if you've made it yourself. Again, Thingiverse had that. You can share it. Uh, because it's my model, I can edit the uh, file for this and I can also add it to a competition um, if it applies to one that's currently running. So below that, you've got the uh, details and then being able to include the full description here. And then you've got the, what's really nice is that it becomes a requirement on principles.com to add uh, select a uh, Creative Commons license. Uh, so everything has a version of a Creative Commons license added to it and you can choose which license you add to it when you upload it. Um, in addition to the description you've got the files. Now on here they've got multiple different ways of uploading files so uh, I've added the uh, G code for people that want to print specifically with the uh, Prusa Mark 3S um, but then I've also included the STL files for each of the individual parts 
Um, and then I've, on some of my more recent models, I've also included the uh, .3MF files as well, which is all set up for people to make little tweaks to their prints if they want to. Uh, then you've got comments and makes all neatly put here. One thing I would like to see here is uh, a, more of a separation between the makes and the comments. It would be nice to have a makes tab and a comments tab, but it it all works nice. It's easy to um, navigate and uh, view, uh, which is great. Um, then, yeah, you've got remixes and user print files, uh, the collections it's been added to, and then related models. They constantly have competitions encouraging people in the community to make designs for specific features, whether it be something that incorporates an Apple AirTag or currently they've got a mechanical designs competition. The winners of these competitions can win anything up to a Prusa printer itself. But then there's other incentives to make and upload compelling designs. You can gain points for every time your 3D design that you've uploaded reaches a certain milestone for downloads and likes. Those points, once accrued over time, can be then used to buy stuff on the Prusa store. I, myself, uh, through designs that I've made, have been able to get several reels of filament which I've then used to print more things which I then photograph and put on principles.com. And it's a great way of encouraging people to use the website. So you can see multiple design contests going on here at the moment. Uh, so this one's finished. They're waiting for the judges to come in and decide who won. They've got three contests that open at the moment. Um, and you'll have multiple people submitting their entries to it. So we've got the mechanical marvels. Let's have a look at what we've got in here at the moment. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of mechanical things that people have designed that you can print. Um, th these competitions are a great way of encouraging people to take part in designing something new that you know will be useful or enjoyable to other people and then all of the previous con uh, contests are available to go through here uh, so when you win a contest you can see here um, you can win a uh, Prusa Mark 3 S Plus uh, you can win spools and other things. You've got 35 days left on that, and already there's 134 entries. So it really is encouraging people to take part. And then on top of that, you have the community, which, again, is encouraging people to communicate and work together and uh, are sharing some fantastic designs they've made. You've also got events that people have been putting together. At the moment, there aren't really uh, the options for online events, but for in-person events, this is a great way of being able to promote them within the 3D community online. Whilst Principles.com isn't perfect, it is a far sight better than Thingiverse has been for many years, and it is definitely a step in the right direction. This is the reason why when I first discovered Principles.com and realized how good it was going to be, I moved my entire collection over from Thingiverse two principles. If like me, you can see the future that principles.com is going to have and would like to move your catalog over from Thingiverse to principles.com, there's a really nice function on principles which allows you to automatically copy your entire catalog from Thingiverse over to principles.com, including a feature which ensures that you are the person that owns that original Thingiverse catalog. You can do that just by going to create, once you're signed in, going to create Thingiverse import and then uh, I've already uh, done this, but you uh, basically uh, link your profile by, you get given some code that, um, or a, a line that you need to put in your description on Thingiverse. And then when you come back here, you can put in your Thingiverse title and it will check that you have put that same code in your Thingiverse description. And once you have, you can select all of your Thingiverse things you want to copy over here and you can transfer them over. There's definitely some features I would like to see added to principles.com. One of which is a bit different because it's not 3D printing specific, but the ability to upload things like vectors for laser engraving and laser cutting. Now understand that this isn't exactly an interest of Prusa at the moment because they don't do laser engraving or laser cutting, but not only do I think it's a feature that they may add to their machines in the future, even right now it's a way of encouraging more people to use the system and to just be creative and create uploads for their website. So that's definitely a feature that I would encourage Prusa to add to their system in time. 
There are already websites like 3axis.co which specialize in uh, vectors for laser cutting. Um, so it's pretty much like Thingiverse or principles for that. But it's a very crude user interface. And if you were to go onto a specific file, uh, there's very little information about it. There's no description. There's rarely even a mention of what thickness material it's supposed to be working for. And it, it's not really a complete experience for the end user. So I feel like something like this that was integrated into principles.com would be a fantastic step forwards. Principles.com definitely isn't perfect, but it's a far sight better than Thingiverse is now and in my opinion has ever been and is moving in the right direction, which is why I moved my entire collection over from Thingiverse to Principles in the first place. If you think there's a feature that Principles is missing, or you think there's something that Thingiverse does better than Principles, definitely let me know in the uh, comments below. Otherwise, if you haven't already looked at principles.com, head over and have a look now. I'll leave a link in the description below. And you can also check out things like my replacement zip toggle and my other designs on there. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.